Oh, the Pokemon fan 1993 here, back from Pokemon Mr. Dunning Gates to Infinity Blind. This is part three, so my original intention was only to do two parts and then take a break and then do another Gates to Infinity part, but I actually got kind of caught up in the story trying to figure out what's going on with these blue, this blue stone bull crap. So I'm actually going to check to see what is uh, actually happening. Yeah, I still have a lot of lag on the continuous screen whenever I start recording, so that's probably going to be a constant thing. The story so far, Gerda said he would build a house if Ryan and Sarah brought five blue stones. So our heroes went to Stony Cave and brought them back. However, yeah, okay. So basically what happened was we think Scrap, uh, Scrafty uh, took the stones. And I really just watched like the, the last thing because there's actually a lot of stuff that actually happened that I really don't want to have to go over. So maybe are you okay? Are you walking? Okay. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we actually have some items here. I'm actually going to... Actually, I don't think I really need to get rid of any of this stuff. I can hold I can hold another uh, 18 items, I think. So let's go to this dungeon that this Scrafty uh, apparently went to. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. And I think it's called, yes, Hazy Pass. Yes. I know it. We can get the Hazy Pass from here. All right. Now all I have to do is make it through the path ahead and catch up to Scraggy. So I'm guessing this this is going to be one where it has some kind of uh, boss or something. Something somewhere. Oh, I got it responding. Hang on. Okay, there we go. We see an auto down there. I wonder what she's doing there. All right, let's use the analog stick here. Let's see what do we got here. What are these? Oh, so that's a bit of a flat. Okay, so I see what I have to do immediately. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is just you. Okay, this is interesting. I had this before. Um, I meant to go for tackle. <laughs> I think Arno's worth a lot of experience. Let's let's grab it to run the Arno real quick. There we go, I chose the correct move this time. Alright, so I just... So I had to click the... I jump on these three things and that activates this thing over here. So I can access the other pat parts of the dungeon. I did a little bit of puzzle solving. It's actually kind of... It's a little refreshing. There we go. That's the auto cue. Alright, let's go. Yes. Hazy pass second floor. This is all, okay. I was about to say is this an all outside dungeon, but I guess it's not. I really gotta learn to stop hitting that one. Ryan grew to level 9. HP by 2. Attack by 1. Defense by 2. Special attack by 1. Special defense by 2. Actually, there's something I want to check now. Then I should be able to. I'm going to actually look at the... Uh, let's see here. Go back. Let's go into options. Window type 1. Type 2. Type 3. Type 4. Type 5. I think I like it when it's nice on the eyes. Grids on. I wish I had that. Speed. Regular. Fast. Let's do fast. Damage, turn, topple, mass, rooms, get move effects. Yes. If I could turn up the uh, text speed, too, but I guess I can't. Whoa, that walking speed is crazy. I might have turned that back to normal. That's, re that's really off. I'm going to keep... I went to having a test grid on, though. So let's... I'm trying to remember the buttons again. <laughs> I'm not doing 12, because okay, let's go back into options. Um, that's going to have to go back to, whoops. I think the grids are fine off, actually, regular. Yeah, we're going to go back to regular, because that was, that was way too much. All right, so now we're going to turn here, go for attack on this whooper. Someone just did up an escape I'm pretty sure it wasn't anyone up. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Throw it on the HP by accident. 
You don't do enough damage. Oh, dang it. Die. Thank you. I get some of my uh, thing back. Hang on, I gotta mess with this again. Hit this button that messes with it. Nope, it's... What button is it that messes with that? Select. Okay. I wanna make sure I had the, um, the dungeon map back. I don't really like using Rao. Sarah go to level 9. Sarah's HP by 2. Up by 2. Attack went up by 1. Defense went up by 2. Special attack went up by 1. Special defense went up by 2. So our stats are going to have it this way. This place is kind of big. Waddle. Ooh, two six poke hours. I guess it leads us back, I'm guessing. Nope, it actually takes us to a small, smaller area over here. Maybe it does lead us back. Nothing here. Another odd no. Please stop using Growl. I'm very sure curious that's the only move it knows. I think it used Pound though before, so I guess they just choose moves at random. There we go. Another one of those water tiles to get my full strength back. In the meantime, I can do this. Water gun's a special attack. Also, doesn't affect my, my uh, little small damage move. So. Oh, would you die? Really, it missed. Hornberry, nice. I restore a lot of HP though when I walk. It almost doesn't seem very fair. <laughs> Rather quickly as well. And the other Mr. Dragon it would. I guess it comes around what more HP you have, but it seems like even then, it seems like that's way too much to get back. Way too much to get back. Tackle. Another tackle from Sarah. There we go. There is a thing here, and then there is a um, staircase. Take a look around at some of these places here that seem to be might be interconnected. The slowed means that I, 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 every time he's allowed to attack twice, I'm only allowed to attack once. That's what slowed does, so. We're off. Yeah, this leads another waypoint back. Okay, so. I pretty much explored this entire floor. Let's move on. Where'd the item come from? I could have sworn it just spawned. might be bad where she's surrounded. There we go, and I picked up an escape orb. Use the escape orb to escape from the dungeon and return to town. Use it if you're close to being defeated. And we were glitched too is when I go to a staircase, the staircase will go at, the thing actually disappears. Okay, so we got this thing again. We have to deal with this. So I need to activate three of them. There's two. There's something here. Look at the sparkling four. Not a Rossberry. That heals a burn. Avoid the pools around and you don't think I need to fight them. But to climb the stairs stuff, move forward, yes. Hizzy pass fourth four. 
see what has used a string shot and hit Snave from a distance. Now we're both slow. Fantastic. Snave went back to normal speed. Probably use anything but water gun, then it probably would have been better. What's this? Another special band. Well, I might as well equip, equip it for the little boost it gives. Gives me a little bit of boost to water gun. I just now noticed something. Do we even have... Yeah, we... Do we not have those in this game? That's a... That's a... Thro that's a really... That throws me off a bit, actually. Let me just double check to make sure I'm not... Losing my shit. Next level. Torrent Sea Otter. No! There is no belly in this game. So, in the other Mr. Dungeon games, belly was something that you had to do to keep yourself, um... Alive, basically, you would have a... Like, it's like a stamina meter. The more you would walk, the more uh, energy you use, and you had to use apples or something similar to restore your um, stamina. In this game, I don't even see a, a belly size in this game, so that means I don't have to worry about ever have to worry about um, having to do that in this game. That's interesting. Maybe they cut it out for a certain reason, which is weird because I think it made a reappearance in both Super Mystery Dungeon and um, and uh, and the DX. Yeah, definitely in DX it did. I'm not. I'm pretty sure it was a thing in, um, Super Mr. Super Mr. Dungeon as well. Level 10, HP by 3, attack by 2, defense by 2, special attack by 2, special defense by 2. I thought it was weird that I was doing Dungeons er uh, in the last couple of videos and I never got any notification that said my I was getting hungry, so. So basically, if you don't, if you're... It's always something you have no apples. Basically, instead of your health will actually go down every time you walk by one point. All right, let's get out of this office floor. Do we make it? Advice bulletin. You're getting close to your goal. It's not much farther now. Time, time to be careful. There's a deposit box here, too. Be sure to organize your items and then challenge the path ahead. Oh, and... Anytime you find a deposit box like this in a dungeon, you always will be able to save your adventure from the X menu. It's a good idea to save your adventure whenever you can. So normally they do something like this where they have a floor where it's kind of like cut off and rest. Usually that means there's something ahead or you're not quite done with the dungeon quite yet. So I'm guessing there's going to be a boss fight ahead, so we're going to have to uh, be a little bit careful, like I said. Uh, we're going to deposit our money. All of it. We don't really need it. Not at the moment, anyway. Items. We're going to deposit. What do we got here? Um, I don't think we need that many orange berries, so let's just deposit one orange berry. Um, I think that's all we really... Nope, we don't need a second max elixir either. So deposit those things. Next we're going to save in case something bad happens. Save completed. Alright, let's go. Yes. Hazy Pass, fifth floor. String shot, string shot. Didn't get either of us. Also, your PP gets restored, so you don't have to worry too much about that part of it either.
Sarah go to level 10. Pokemon learn a new move, but it must forget an old move first. Warning wrap. I'm gonna rid of Leer. Sarah's HP went up by 3. Attack went up by 2. Defense went up by 2. Special attack went up by 2. Special defense went up by 2. There's Peach Berry here. That heals poisoning if I ever get poisoned. There's a lot of these, uh... These, uh, stat restorers here. Those are random, too, by the way. Like, everything in the dungeon, including items, usually are randomized, so... Oh, those are a pain. Double tackle. Regular attack. There we go. I'm gonna do this to get my uh, stats back to normal. Or explore the rest of this place. That does not go anywhere. boost that power, so that's good. Alright. Now we're gonna look further in, just gotta be careful. Okay, we have a Pokemon coming up. I'm actually going to let uh, Sarah take care of that, assuming that she does. Nice Flying Whip. So that's immediate knockout. Because I think... I think... No, I think... No, I think Ray Wooper's... Uh, Wooper's just... Um, are just water. If it was Quacks, I'd probably do four times the amount of damage. Or actually, it would do four times the amount of damage. But I think Wooper is just a, just water. I think I'm being confused because I think the uh, Paldean version, the Padea uh, Wooper, and Quad Sire, I believe they're both poison ground. Or po yeah, poison ground, which throws me off a little bit because that's not how regular Wooper is. It doesn't have two types. Hey, Ryan, this seems to be a, it seems to be a bit brighter up ahead. Let's push on, okay? Ah, that's... Craggy, finally found him. Ryan, let's catch up to him and see what he has to say. Oh, someone's coming. That can't be. What? He wants to hide. Whoa! That's a big idea, Ryan. Huh? Now you want me to whisper? Okay, fine, I'll whisper. Seriously, what's going on? What? That's. That's. Girder. Why is Girder here? Sorry for the wait. Took you long enough. I want to get down to business, yo. Don't be like that. I've got to be careful to make sure I'm not followed either. It takes a lot of work to keep this kind of scam, you know? You haven't lost your touch, though, huh? Still quite the skillful little thief. So, what's the? where's the cash? Yeah, yeah, I got what I promised you. Getting a little greedy, huh? Hm. Who are you call calling greedy? Those blue gens will pay you back big time you saw them in the West. Compared to that, the money you pay me is like a drop in a bucket, eh? Well, that's true enough. Of course, I could just go into Sony Kingdom myself and get some, but... Well, it doesn't... It get, it does get pretty dicey in there. I mean, when your particular expertise to that problem is just plain expedient. No other way around it. So, basically, they ha he won he wanted us to go get the stones. So, Scraggy could steal them, sell them on the market. This is really some kind of, like, high-level shit, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna have those two fools bring me some more gems. I'll be counting on... As usual, not when they do. But you're gonna have them get you more? Those little losers. That's right. After all, they're still dumb enough to believe that I'll build them a house. This way, I'll be able to send them after more deaths for the rest of their lives. You serious, dude? You're cold. It's their dream to build their own home, ain't it? You're gonna keep believing that the dream is gonna keep bringing you gems forever? Never knowing it'll come true? Man, you're a good cry. You got any heart left? You want me to cry over something like that? Huh. The Great Scary pulls off the meaner schemes in the West. Well, you ain't wrong there. <laughs> you sneaky little... What? You two. You, we followed Scraggy here. Girder. 
Quit the conniving at you that's falling for, huh? <laughs> Anyone who expects honesty in this world is a fool. That's why you give her trusting me. Big, big, dream being, you lose big. Or dream big, you lose big. Zero for getting tricked. You, you were tailing me. You mean you actually saw through my mad skills? I'm impressed, losers. But, what do you think you're gonna do now? You wanna fight with the two of us? I'm warning you, I've been tussling on the wrong side of the route my whole life. What else I've lived through, well, little sports like you couldn't imagine. It'll be best if you just toddle off home for mamas, you hear? No way, bring it. My, my, my. Even after I went to the trouble of warning you losers. You don't have a bit of sense between the two of you, do you? Fine then. Let me just show you. Show you what a big mistake you're making. Let's roll. So, my initial thought is to take care of Scraggy first. Because, are we... Are we still in the grid? I guess, I'm guessing we're right next to each other. We are. Okay. So, we're going to go into... I am hitting the wrong buttons. Alright. So, obviously, Water Gun's my best option here. It's actually benign. I'm on the HP sand attack. That could be a problem. Shaggy's down. How far are they? Well, sure is obviously gonna be a tougher because he's a high level mine. But let's go into items. Uh, Orangeberry. Eat. Give to Sarah. Water gun. Crap. Being bound. Water gun. Got him. Ouch. You. I'm not gonna lose here. I'm not gonna lose to you fools. Girder. Come on. Boss, please just stop. What? what? Boss. We're begging you. Please. Stop doing these things. You two. Why are you... You didn't... You wouldn't. So you two are the ones who sold me out. The backstabbers appear at last. It was your meddling. Ugh. Girder. Yeah. Boss, please, let this be the last time we do this kind of thing, okay? What? We don't want to do this anymore. We never work. All we do is bad stuff. We don't want to watch any more of this. You never used to be like this, boss. You were nice, and you loved your work. You're not... Well, you're not the boss we knew. Not anymore. What? You little... You think you could defy me, huh? We don't want to do bad things anymore, boss. Please, boss, we're begging. Can't we... Can't we just do honest work together for, like we used to? Can't you just have fun working with us again? Work like we used to. You, you guys ought to know better than anyone. There's no way that can happen. Grr! Herder! Thump. They're fighting. What? What are you doing? Some of you guys learned already. You can't, you can't just go back to the way things used to be. I mean, we have to follow him. Ow. Are you guys okay? Seems like there's more to the story than we just what we heard. Tell us what happened. Yes. See, our boss he used to be a great carpenter, really. Everyone loved his work back then. We were in awe of his skill, and that's why he wanted to, we wanted to work with him. Being his apprentice was really, really fun back then. But then, the boss got injured one day. After he injured his back, he couldn't move the way he used to. His body just wouldn't listen, so he couldn't build the way he used to either. Because of that, he couldn't practice his building skills, so they went downhill. But even then, even without his old skills, the boss kept doing the best he could, you know. He still had his pride in his work, but then it happened. What happened? A certain Pokemon asked us to build him a house. Work had become pretty, work had become pretty scarce at the time. We were happy, all three of us. We poured our hearts into that house. We used up every last drop of energy we had to build it. And that Pokemon, he started by bashing the quality of our work. Then he destroyed the house, right in four eyes. What? At first we thought we had torn, he had torn down because our work wasn't good enough. But it was really the re that, that was the reason, well, I guess he would have had to deal with it. But that wasn't the reason. From the very start, he was just toying with us. Toying with you? He just built the house with every intention of tearing it down afterward. Planning from, start, from the start to complain about how... The work as not excuse did not pay us. The Pokemon called the boss's house a piece of garbage. Can you imagine? 
He smashed it over and over until there was truly nothing but garbage left. The boss had no confidence in himself after that day. He gave in to despair and stopped working at all. And eventually he started cheating other Pokemon like you. <laughs> what a horrible story. You said that Pokemon was just toying with you, right? He was willing to turn the house from the start. So that means it didn't have anything to do with how good or bad your work was. Gurr shouldn't have given up faith in himself because of that. <laughs> we tried saying that too, but the boss just wouldn't listen to a word we said. In the end, he was just the one who felt the, the loss of his skills the most. In the house, he tried so hard to do a perfect job. And then it all got torn down in front of his face. I think they surprised he gave up after seeing that. But still, doesn't mean he should become a criminal. We don't want the boss to keep doing these bad things. We thought maybe we could change things this time. That's why we tried telling you about Scraggy Ryan. But in the end, the boss isn't going to change, is he? We just want to work together with the boss again. We want him to go back to being the same old boss who loved what he did. You know what I'm thinking, Ryan? Of course. It's settled, then. Our house is definitely going to be built by Girder. What? What? You mean after he's so terrible to you? Why would you... We decided. We don't want anyone else to build it. Girder's our guy. I want to see the house you, you two and Girder will build together. House with all your heart and soul poured into it. Girder head farther in this way. Let's go after it and ask him to help us. Maybe he says no. We're going to keep asking him until he agrees. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Let's all go together. Let's go see Gerda together. Damn. I got fucking serious in a hurry. Alright. <laughs> so, um, I'm curious, like, how far in is Gerda in this? Like, okay, he's past 7-4. So I think I'm going to keep going until we reach the end. Oh, we actually have some help, too. Um, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, can I look at everyone's moveset? Okay, low kick pound, low kick pound. All right, that's pretty basic. And I can't change that, I don't think, either, so we're going to have to deal with that. But still have a nice having some help. Question is, are they competent enough to know what they're doing? Apparently, the guns ability works on uh, non-status moves in this game. That's interesting as well. Hang on, let me switch that back. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. And a couple of people, extra players actually is going to help us a bit, I think. Double tackle, put them down. Max elixir, nice. I'm guessing there was a save point in that little battle. I'm guessing there can't be very many fours. Maybe there's going to be nine or ten fours this place. So this is a pretty damn straight path. Oh, there we go. Now we got a uh, uh, drop off there. I'm not going to lie, I remember Mystery, uh, Super Mystery Dungeon Story and Explore the Sky Story. And so far, I know I'm going to get probably, like, freaking roasted for saying this, but I, so far I like... I think I like this storyline a bit better than uh, Explore the Sky. I mean, I understand everyone loves the game, but a game can't be perfect, and I think that's how a lot of people view games as this. If the game's not perfect, they don't like it. Well, that's never going to happen because you're always going to have people who are going to hate, hate games for whatever reason. Even if I, even my favorite game, like... I'm trying to think of my favorite game at the moment. I would dare say probably my favorite game is, um... Sure. Probably the Mario Party series, and obviously, you know, the Mario Party, yeah, it's cool and everything, but there, it's not perfection. Definitely, the first one was definitely not perfection. I don't think anything's gonna be perfection with video games. I think people are too focused on perfection, and that's why people, uh... Roast appearances, that's why people, um... Do a bunch of stuff. I saw a story, I think it was earlier today... No, it was, it was last night. Some lady, uh, apparently a professional uh, swimmer, uh, she went to a gym and found a kid doing reps with weights the wrong way. And instead of giving him advice, she basically recorded it and basically went on, it went on um, social media and said, oh my god, this guy's a dumbass lol. And apparently a fitness guy got into it. He's like, You're, you are the worst kind of person. And apparently, from my understanding, I haven't heard anything else from it, but I'm guessing that probably ruined her career. And it's so stupid because she tried to defend herself. And it was a very, very poor defense saying that the kid, the kid was okay with her making fun of it. He knew, he knew the kid is like, uh, it's like, I, I don't, perfection is really overrated. I don't think I'd ever want to be perfect. I think it'd just be too much energy. Too much, too much of a nuisance. Sorry, I kind of got sidetracked there, but I like talking about random shit when it kind of, it's kind of relevant to what I just talked about. It's like two basic attacks and a thing will knock out almost any Pokemon in this, in this game. 
So, I think it's about it. I think it's just going to lead us in a circle now. So we're going to, yeah, there's a dead end there. I'm going to guess this is a dead end as well. I bet she goes around, up, and over here. So yeah, I think it's about the end of this floor. So let's, let's speed this up a little bit. I don't like how they gave us, like, some party members, too. I'm guessing four is the max you can have, though, because I'm looking at the bottom screen, and it looks like the max you can have is four. So, in the game I'm playing, um, you're allowed to have three Pokemon on your team, and then if you have the ability to, you can recruit a Pokemon in the dungeon, depending on your level and a couple other factors. And basically, uh, if you manage to hold on to them until after the dungeon's over, or you escape with them, they'll actually join your team. So four is probably the thing for it. I do like how they changed in DX, they changed it so you could have it up to like, I think it's like seven Pokemon. They probably did it to make the recruiting easier. But I also find a problem with that because they're, oh, okay, they got them. But they, they, they kind of went up by themselves, but they got them. Um, because that means you have more Pokemon to deal with, you have to take care of. So um, in a sense, it's, it's helpful to a degree, but um, what, what, how, how would I say this? Well, for example, if you had three Pokemon that died, and they're all different Pokemon. It means that either you'd have to choose to use a Reviver Seed on them, which is an option in the game. You don't have to, you don't, it's not by default. For example, in in the remake, you can choose what Pokemon you can he heal with a Reviver Seed. It doesn't matter how to do it, but the original, it does. Okay, so we are here, so we have, um, all right, we're going to deposit some stuff we got here. I don't think we need all this stuff. Wow, we got a lot of Max Elixirs. Um... So we're going to keep... We're definitely going to get rid of that many. We don't n need anywhere near that ma many max elixirs. I think I'll hold on to everything else. So I'm going to do... I'm actually going to save here. I'm guessing we only have one or two fours left. Probably give me another one because it's going to be another boss battle. But we're going to save one more time. Well, I thought we could. I guess... Oh, there it is. Duh. So we're going to hit save and continue. And I'm going to go over my time because I want to know how this is going to end up. Head to Great you should rest before you play more. All right, we're gonna go ahead. Hazy Pass, eighth floor. I'm gonna guess there's two more floors. Possibly three. All right, there's a Pokemon here. I've used a lot of moves, so I'm actually gonna let Snivy and them deal with a, with a couple of them. And I don't think the Timber get any experience, because I think they're just guest Pokemon. I mean, they're only available at certain, at certain times. It's kind of interesting, too, this game is really focused around... Well, it hasn't focused around a guild yet. But I'm surprised it's gotten this far into the story without without uh, talking about guilds. There might be one in Post Town. I just really haven't seen much of the place yet. <laughs> this leads me back the way I came. Kind of. Perfect. I want just one inclusion of what's going to happen, and then I could be happy for a few more days while I, uh, while I play, while I uh, upload something else. Oh, pick that up. Warren berries are nice. They're odd now. Water gun now, because yeah, and we got a, an all power up for that. Basically, I think that boosts our attack sharply for a few turns when we use it, so it might come in handy in this. Um, okay, damn, they're just dealing with those guys pretty easily. This is gonna happen too, as you've seen, he's being diverted it's because we got separated from each other, so I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue because the Pokemon in this dungeon don't seem very strong. But I think we'll head up to the next four, and regardless, he'll come with us anyway. All right, was that it? Hang on, my game's lagging a little bit. We're nearly to the peak now. Oh, ain't that the boss? Looks like it. Okay, you two should probably wait here. So now Reinar will go on and try to talk some sense to Girder. Oh, it's nighttime out. He's thinking. Oh, there's the injury to his back. <laughs> so it's still no good, huh? Girder. What? You two again. I've been looking for you, Girder. You're still angry, are you? 
Fine, let's do this. Wait, no, that's not... I just want to... I can't build houses anymore. If I wanted to build something, I just ain't got the strength. But, for some reason, I still got plenty of strength left for fighting. Good for nothing power that I can't create a thing. Ryan, watch out. I'll show you what real rage looks like. You better be ready. So I'm guessing it's going to be a bit tougher now. Alright, so we are one space away from him, I can tell by looking at him. Okay. Alright, so we are going to make sure that we are okay. Um, I'm going to go for a one tail whip. This will help a little bit, I think. And then we're going to go for... Because I can't control Snipey's Edge, but I can't use Water Gun myself. A little more of a trade-off. Got quite a bit of HP, don't he? Okay, so I'm low on HP. I gotta use a Thornton Berry. Looks like I, ha I should have several thousand of them at this point. He's probably gonna have the next hit, too. Watch. Nope. I thought, he I thought he would. Perfect. Are you, are you satisfied now? Doesn't matter how much you rage against it. No matter how much you hate it, some things can't be changed. It's where we live in. It's all about who who's do doing the lying and who's being lied to. I suppose just look like fools. In a world like this, you're the ones who get blamed for being tricked. So you can't just get you can't get mad at me. It's just ro this rotten world works. Maybe right about the world, but exactly why I can't accept this kind of thing. Ugh. We didn't come here to argue about this kind of stuff, Ritter. We want you to build our, us a house. What? I'm such a jerk to you. You still want my help? You want me to work with you to build your home? Yeah. We'll get together the money and the materials somehow. So please, won't you help us build ourselves a home? Y you. <laughs> I swear, you're some kind of prize fools, aren't you? Don't you even realize I've been lying to you this whole time? I've got, I've got no hope left. Not for this world. Not for my craft. Look at this scar, why don't you? Thanks to this stupid injury, my body won't even do what I want it to anymore. I can't build anything. Build you a house. I can't even make nothing but junk anymore. You get it now? You're asking an old washout who can't build anything decent to build you a house. Boss, you're wrong. You too. Sam Ryan already knew, you, already knew about your injury. We told him about it. You did what? Even knowing that, Sam and Ryan, they still want you to help build their house. What? Berta, you just said you can't build anything but junk, right? But what's wrong with that? You just need to work, work to get, I'm getting better again. Why don't you build our house, Girder? No one else. You just put your heart into building it. Then why don't we, we don't need a fancy house. We don't want to live in some perfectly built masterpiece that has no heart. You want a house made by someone who pours their heart into what they do. Besides, these timber will follow you to the ends of the world, you know. No matter how I stray from the path, no matter how many times you lash out at them, they still go on believing that you can have all fun working together again someday. Still got them, Gerder. You have to think about them. I've been trying so desperately to help you, but... Gerder, what do you think we've been doing, huh? Boss, let's go back to work. Let's work together again. Please, boss. Let's go back to the old days when we used to have fun. You too. Gerder, please. Build our house. Build the house that no one else but you could make. Ugh. Boss. Sarah, Ryan. I'll do it. I'll build your house. Really? Yeah. I put everything I got into it. But, but not now. Right now I need to cry for a bit. You know, I'm going to say this right now. I've looked at Girder and I've, I've noticed it through like, uh, like anime games and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of heartbreaking to see a Pokemon with that much strength and that much pride to break down like that. I think it got to me a little bit too. Gerda promised to build the house in paradise. Once they returned from Hazy Pass, Gerda and Timber began building at once. And the two of us, and even Quagsire, we did our best to help with the construction of the new home. And several days later... Damn, pretty good. It's done. We have a house. Hmm. It's quite an interesting house, hmm? Okay. Sorry, it's so bad. I'm afraid this is the best I can do right now. But it doesn't have a certain warmth to it. I think it's a good house. Well, you may have done the look very pretty. I had a really good time doing this job. You said it. This has got to be the most fun I've had on a job. It's like 
Yeah, it's kind of shabby. It's not really shabby. It's kind of strange, but I'm pretty happy with the work we did put, we did, in an odd sort of way. It really is not much to look at, huh? Doesn't matter what it looks like. I love it. For Timber. Timber and Quagsire, too. Thanks, everybody. I'm gonna put their hearts into this. And that's what really matters. At any rate, this is going to be our new home. Do I save your progress? Alright, so that's a pretty good conclusion to this one. Um, almost broke down my, a, bit, a bit myself. And um, so that's a pretty good sign that uh, a game is really good at, at getting me sometimes. And sometimes it happens when I play games, especially new ones. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.